I'm Brittany, this is Eddie, and welcome to Gay Watch, where we watch gay things. Today is episode one of Fellow Travelers. I think it was somebody on Tumblr who may have mentioned this, or I may have stumbled on it myself. No, I stumbled on this myself. I have seen nobody talking about this. But basically, I was on IMDb, and what it decided to tell me on the front page was... Matt Bomer and Jonathan Bailey are in a 60s era espionage thriller in which they are passionately fucking in love. Do you know how seated I am for that? I threw this on the schedule at the last second because I didn't care. Because who cares? I don't... Who... Schedule what? Schedule who? Fitting things in... I don't know what I don't know what that means. All I know is that I have to sit here and absorb this because I don't know what's happening right now, but it looks very very good and from what I hear pretty explicit, but also a prestige drama. Was this made for me specifically? I'm going to hit play and I'm going to find out. That was a very interesting opening shot. This whole two sides of the streets being different shades thing, that's very striking to me. We're gonna go back in fucking time. Thanks, Dad. Tim's organizing his life. Certainly. Fuck. He wants you to have this. Oh, so this is gonna hurt me. He's had a couple romances. Nothing that lasted. Something kept getting in the way. Oh, that was pointed. Give my the beautiful family. Mm. Beautiful life. Mm. I hope it was worth it. Oh fuck me! Oh shit! Oh, we just learned a lot about this show in about two minutes. Oh my god! All right, this is gonna be a show that hurts my feelings, and that's okay. I'm totally signed up for it. Whoo! Whoo! We really, we, 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 um, okay, this show came out swinging. 52! I thought we would go back to 62. Is it the 50s and not the 60s and I'm just an idiot? I'm neutral, like Switzerland. And isn't that his whole fucking problem? Ooh. Oh, 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 I don't, uh, I, oh, uh, mm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Also, how on earth can they make Jonathan Bailey look so, like, small and nerdy when he's very much the strapping romantic hero in season two of Bridgerton? How did both he and the costume department do that? I don't know what the platform actually was for McCarthy. I don't know anything about what he would say on the campaign trail or anything. So this could very well be like a quote from his actual, which wouldn't surprise me. But that was also um, that sentence, very uh, Donald coded. So that was, that was, that was slick. That was slick. If that wasn't just shit he would already say, because it's not like Donald ever first thought of that idea that's been used on the American people more than once. Uh, so it could have been an actual thing that he said, but if not, that was slick. That was a slick little um, sign that they just threw up there. A nice little red flag. Oh, okay. This whole juxtaposition thing is going to make me a little ill. This makes me high key fucking worried for him and Jonathan Bailey. I don't think I'm gonna make it through this show, guys. I, I I don't I don't I don't think so. They're doing what I want every genre to do. Sorry, I just realized this. They're doing what I want every genre to do. They're putting just as much effort and money and expertise behind a show that could otherwise be hetero, and they've just made it queer they're just like we could we could do all of that all of the things that we do 
for mainstream media. We could do that, but it could be gay. It could be queer. It could be about a queer love story. If this had been made, you know, not even 20 years ago, less than that, much less than that. But if this had been made a little while ago, this would have been a straight show. One of them uh, would have been a woman. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, okay. <gasps> I'm a little excited. <clears throat> oh, you've come to Washington to make a difference. The black and white, the opening shot of this show with the two-toned street also had was further emphasized but on the darker side of the street there was a black car and on the lighter side of the street there was a white car and that jumped out to me at, at the time it seemed like a greater contrast than it was there for a second and when i realized that i didn't mention it but now we have this going on with him in a dark suit behind uh, uh with the dark tree behind him and i cannot remember what jonathan bailey's character's name is yet um in this white behind the lighter light going on interesting my name i looked you up in the biographical register oh, oh not that that means anything and you worked at the state department the last two years in the bureau of congressional relations you really you did look him up uh-huh <laughs> Spend the afternoon picturing you kneeling in prayer. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Hot and blasphemous? Were you trying to kill the poor guy? Also, was there something I don't know about in parks in the 1950s? Literally... Uh, keeping an eye on men they suspect to be queer to kick them out. I would imagine that parks, especially parks as big as that one would be potentially a good place for down low queer dudes, which was everybody back then to hook up. But I've never heard something specifically about that. I got to look that up. Your front door was open. Mr. Fuller, I'm not allowed visitors. I'd say wait oh shit. What if you let me kiss you? Fucking God, he just says things. Is this all right? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Important step. Oh my god. <coughs> That's a precedent. That was nice, Skippy. Huh. You need a radio. <laughs> you need a radio. Uh huh. He brought a fuck. Haven't seen them kiss yet, which I always find a very deliberate choice. You love your family. Hmm. And they love me. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. That's really it, isn't it? That's God. That's so it. It's always. I don't know why it took that long to pause. Uh, it's like, yeah, my family loves me. The part of me that they know. Rough. That's rough. And so and it encapsulates so many things. Anything about you? Yeah. What's that about, Hawk? I just want to know you. Ooh, therein lies the problem. Yeah. Built like a fortress, this one is. Ooh, does he? Come here. And they're worried. I, it's, 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 it. it's just the way he effortlessly the gives him orders that. I, I'm your boy, right? Oh, shit. He's Who? trying to play that. I, brain, sure, I'm and not here. I'm not fucking here right now. 
I have vacated the premises. This is only the first episode. I could already write an essay about this fucking power dynamic. He's in the grams with the taste of me in his mouth. Oh, oh Jesus. What did, oh, not, not that I want to interrupt their singing at all. What did I watch that tangentially involved clubs like this in a time like this? My Policeman. Um, one of the characters in My Policeman frequented these clubs, but it wasn't made like the main focus. I think there was maybe like a scene or two. I would love for this show to delve deeper into clubs like this make this like a regular recurring thing please please you're already literally giving me everything that i've ever wanted so you may as well just add that to the list also who are they their voice is remarkable i'm not ashamed of it, to feel things <sighs> that i need to feel things believe in things you're the coward not me <clears throat> He ain't wrong, but also, this is terribly complicated, and it's not quite as simple as that. Oh. That's the problem. What is I'm not fucking sorry, bitch. I felt pure. Oh! 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 Lines of dialogue! Can I be sorry for it? I'm- I'm gonna jump out a window. Fuck! Christ, George, how the hell do I know? How do any of us live with ourselves in this, the most impossible of situations? Shit. What did you put in the fucking note? God damn it! <laughs> Shut that door. Uh huh. Unlock it behind you. Of course, that's gonna be his advice in this situation. Where is the point between self-preservation and cowardice? Huh! <laughs> huh! It's the 80s and they can stand out on the street. They are not without their problems, but they can stand out on the street. Fuck you. Fuck you! How am I supposed to do that seven more times? Are you insane? Are you unfucking hinged? How am I supposed to do this for the next two months? That's it for episode one of Fellow Travelers. Uh. There is so much to say, and I have so many thoughts that I can say nothing at all. Um, this is n this is not only exactly what I had hoped it would be, it is so far beyond everything that I hoped it would be that I really can't contain myself in this moment. <clears throat> I have no brainwaves. They've taking them all i will definitely be here for the next couple of months as this show airs 1000 percent. so hopefully you will come along on this whole thing and uh so that's that's next week that's next week so i will see you next week with episode two Episode two, that was all one episode, by the way. Episode two of Fellow Travelers. And in the meantime, please, for the love of fucking God, take care of yourselves. <laughs>